Hi, I'm Crystal. Today I want to talk about making an inexpensive baby book over a weekend. Um, so recently I made a couple of baby books for a friend of mine who had a new grandbaby and she loved them and wanted um, books for all of her grandchildren. So I needed to make six more. Um, so I wanted to use the supplies that I had on hand and all I ended up buying was the binders and the page protectors. And so what makes this project inexpensive um, is the use of an office supply or a school supply instead of a craft supply. So these binders are half size, three ring binders, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And the page protectors are half size page protectors, same half a sheet size. And you can find these in the school supplies this time of year. Um, or you can order them from Amazon, of course, anytime, and I'll, I'll put the links um, in the description box. The, the binders that you find in the school supplies tend to be plain white or black, although you can insert a sheet in the cover, um, but you can order cute covers from Amazon. So um, ordering those from Amazon, it worked out to about $10 per book for the binder and the page protectors, and everything else was something that I had on hand. Um, what I had on hand, of course, was plain cardstock and a bunch of Project Life cards. So I bought those at Tuesday morning when they were um, clearancing them. And I tried pocket scrapbooking and I hated it. Hated it. I just, it wasn't enough scope for me. Um, so the cards have already been through one repurposing. I took them to my in-person stamping group and we made many, many albums from the Project Life cards. But I took everything that was left and sorted them into groups by color family. And then I went ahead and used some, some of the cards to cut letters for the kids' names. And I'm partially embossing the letters. Um, one, it's a nice touch, kind of fancy, but also because I did this in the previous baby books. So I want them to be consistent. And I love heat embossing. So I'm just putting those in my heat embossing box with a piece of masking tape that's sticky side up to hold them so I don't burn my fingers. Um, then I'm layering up the letters um, just to give them a little bit of background color. And once I've made all of the kids names this way, um, it does make a nice set of, of, uh, of names. So I think that's a nice touch for these baby books. But obviously letter stickers would work equally well. And if you don't have Project Life cards, a paper pad would work equally well. And I am going to make some punchies from my scrap paper. So stickers, obviously an option, but I've got scrap paper, which I just sort into rough groups by color. Um, no organization inside the bin. I just have those three bins according to whether it's warm colors, cool colors, or neutrals. So once I've made all my punchies, I have six bags of punchies for the six books. And then I'm taking my stack of Project Life cards and um, assigning them to the pages. So I'm just flipping through and finding some cards that go together. So at this step, I think would be easier if you were working from a paper pad because you wouldn't be trying to match the colors this way. The paper pad is gonna do that work for you. Um, but you know, I, I think this is a great occasion to use the supplies that you have. And of course I'm calling these baby books, but um, the, the remaining grandchildren that I'm doing books for are, are no longer babies. So these are kids ranging in age from I think 6 to 19. So I am using some stronger colors here than I might use for an infant. So once I've got the um, the stuff all sorted out and the, the initial names made, I've just got these put aside into bags. Um, so that I'm ready to move on to the next step and I've got my bags of punchies for decorating the pages. And so now that I've got all this ready, it's time to move on to assembly. So when I did this, I did group my punches by type so that I had stars, flowers, butterflies, and hearts because I like to put some repetition. And this ended up taking about two hours and one tape runner per book. So I used tape runner for the Project Life cards and I used glue for the punches and die cuts. Um, it, it didn't take long since I'd done a bunch of preparation, but two hours a book. So once I get through all of this, um, we'll have some nice consistent photo albums. And I think that these are accessible to the grandmother who is not necessarily a crafter um, because they're just top loading page protectors. 
and she can put any size photos on these pages. It could be 4x6 photos, could be 3x3 three three photos, could be whatever digital size she's got. Um, she could write on these cards, she could you know, include school reports, whatever she wants to do. But there's a lot of freedom in this format. So I hope that this has been inspiring to you and that you will think about undertaking a project using your supplies um, and making a gift for somebody using your craft skills. I, I think that people really do appreciate it and I certainly was thrilled that uh, she liked the last two and I really appreciate the opportunity to make a couple more. So I hope, um, hope this is useful to someone and I really thank you for joining me today. Have a good one.